Brunswick Rifle at Hard Labor by William Hovey Smith. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and I like to hunt with muzzle-loading guns. An interesting one is an original Brunswick rifle that was made in 1840-odd that I used on a hunt at Hard Labor Creek State Park in Georgia. For two days a year, this park has a management hunt for deer. So I participated in this hunt, and this allowed me to take a deer with this gun. Now, this is my deer stand. This is where I am. I'm up a tree. I'm looking down on open hardwoods. And you'll see me zoom in on a little spot where I actually shot the deer. Now, as I zoom in, zoom in. Come on. Come on. Let's see it right there. Now, that's where the deer fell. The Brunswick rifle has gotten its deer. Although the shot was about 20 yards... And what this shot tells me is that, yeah, if you get your deer close enough, almost anything will kill it. Uh, the shot went through the neck. I don't like to take neck shots. Nonetheless, that's where the ball went. I don't think that was necessarily where it was aimed. And the gun is still loaded because we're still hunting. And we may get another shot yet, even as I got this thing right here on the spot. The buck, this is a yearling Georgia deer. He's a nice, healthy deer. You can see these gnarly antlers, though. They are, they are very, very twisted. But he's got a fair amount of body mass for a uh, park deer. And that's the reason I'm shooting this buck, is because we are on a state park, and this is a buck, well, this is a deer management hunt. It lasts for two days. And hunters can come in and take deer, and they want any deer shot that's seen. So this is not a trophy hunt. So this buck does not count towards my tags in Georgia. It's considered a, well, I won't call them a nuisance deer, but it's considered an excess deer that needs to be removed to manage the population within a state park. So, gun got first kill though. Huh. So all right, we're going to try some more. The shot was somewhat better than I expected. The bullet entered and penetrated completely through the neck, then passed into the chest cavity and exited the offside leg. Uh, this is another one of my books, Extreme Muzzle Loading, that will be out in the winter of 2010. I have several videos about the Brunswick rifle on YouTube. Now, this includes getting a mole from the gun for Jeff, from Jeff Tanner in England, uh, casting bullets, uh, cleaning the gun initially after it was received, uh, targeting shooting with round balls. I also tried hollow base bullets in it. And so we have a bit of information about this gun. It's available from Atlanta Cutlery in Atlanta, Georgia. So you can purchase one and clean one up. Some are safe to shoot. Some may not be. So be careful. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. But this is what one of these old guns can do.